everybody. Welcome back to another week of the Fogo Life. This week, we've got something really exciting in store. Sebastian from Fogo Charcoal is actually headed here, and he's bringing a new smoker. We were sent a cotton gin smoker. It's a new drum smoker. It's, it's the hottest thing on the market. We can't wait to try it out. So let's go see. He's supposed to be here in just a couple minutes. Let's head out front and wait for him. We are really excited to get this unloaded and ready for cooking. Matt Messer started building these in his basement back in Niles, Michigan. They built these so that everyone can use it. Anyone can use it. From the backyard weekend smoker to the competition barbecue circuit. In just a few short years, the demand has grown beyond his expectations. Let's get to work and unload this baby. Hey, Ron. Hey, man. Hey, Sebastian. How are you doing, man? You. Good to see you, too. How are you? Good. Welcome, boy. I can't wait. That's a beauty, huh? Check this out, man. I've Huffington been seeing smoker. Yeah, I've been seeing these all over the internet. I've been seeing them everywhere. I've been dying to try one out. So yeah. this is going to be really cool. Let's do it. Let's all unbox right. this thing. Let's break it open. <laughs> like I said, we are very excited to get started and get cooking. It arrived really well packaged, nice and safe and sound. After removing these few straps, we are ready to reveal this beauty. Away with the cardboard and one more layer of plastic bubble wrap to go. We will save the bubble wrap for popping later. The Fogo Cotton Gin is the first of its kind with a printed graphic on it. Up until now, they only offered laser etched metal for personalization. Isn't it pretty? Let's check out what's inside. Everything you need to get started is all packed inside when it arrives. This custom grate is a monster. Hey, although it looks really heavy, it's pretty easily handled by two people. Um, don't be like us. Give yourself some room to work and move around easily, okay? Watch and enjoy as we clumsily lower this from the back of Sebastian's truck. Uh, there, we did it. We just can't stop loving on the logo plate on the front either. There is no forgetting whose smoker this is, that's for sure. The only real assembly is to bolt the heat shield together, install the three wheels, and place the hanger inside. The holes lined up really nicely and made installation of the bolts a cinch. Um, we installed them by hand and a couple of quick turns with a ratchet or wrench and the heat shield was basically done. Um, it was kind of done before we even knew it. The thickness of the shield will help you drum itself from getting too hot while you're cooking. This will sit in the bottom of the smoker and the charcoal basket will sit right in the middle of it. You don't have to have any mechanical ability at all to be able to put it together. We wanted to show you so you don't get nervous. As I said before, just push the bolts through the holes. Once they're lined up, hand tighten the nuts and give it one last tightening with the ratchet. The cotton gin comes with three different length hooks so that you can place the grate at different heights to adapt to what you're cooking. The longer the hook, the closer your grate will be to the fire. I probably didn't need to explain that to you, but hey, you never know. We use the hooks to lower the heat shield down into the drum, although it isn't really necessary. You could easily do it using just your hands. Gloves would be a good idea. It does have some pretty damn sharp edges. It does have a really nice sized charcoal basket and it's gotten pretty easy to grab handle. Yep. I took this part on all by myself. <laughs> the nice part is it's got a really nice, easy to read thermometer and it really attaches pretty easily. It just goes in, large nut on the inside kind of holds it in place. So spin the thermometer, spin the nut, whichever you want to do, whichever is easiest for you. Once we've got that all down pat, we're going to want to put the wheels on. Yeah, you're going to want to roll it around too. So let's do that. We got the baffle in there, we got the hooks, we're getting ready to go, putting that grate in there. Well, there she is, all complete in all her beautiful glory. God, we can't wait to get this thing fired up and use it. So that plate with you wondering if that is, that's a baffle. So if you're gonna cook indirect, you got that. Put in your rack for hanging ribs, for hanging chicken. Man, hanging meats is the way to go. Let's season this baby up. So for seasoning, it's really simple. All you want to do is you just want to spray it down really good with vegetable spray. You can rub it with vegetable oil. Coat the whole inside. You're going to want to burn it. You want to give it a nice finish on the inside. We're going to burn it hot at like 400 degrees. So make sure that all your areas are covered. Everywhere inside needs to be really covered nicely so that you get a good, good, good seasoning on it the first time around. Yeah, spray the baffle plate. Spray everything. Season it all. It can't hurt. Now, the big question is, can your charcoal do this? Can you get it open by just pulling the string? You can with BOGO. 
Anyway, we're going to use our super premium. It's got giant chunks. It's going to burn nice and hot. It's going to burn for a long time. We want to make sure we get this thing seasoned well. Look at the size of that thing. Good Lord. Anyway, yeah, this is what we're going to use to season it. We're going to burn it hot at about 400 degrees, uh, probably three, four hours. Get this thing really uh, seasoned up nicely. We're using our J.J. George torch to get this uh, coal lit. It's really nice because it's just natural fire, nothing else. We could use some Fogo fire starters in it if we wanted to, but I like to use that flame sometimes just to get it really going good and get the burn, wood burning really nice and hot. And now that we've got it burning, let's set this charcoal basket right down in here. You just want to set it inside the fire ring. Close this thing up. We're going to open up some vents, get some temperature going. Like I said, probably 350, 400 degrees. It's easy to adjust, man. This thing, it's amazing. Once you start using it, it really adjusts super easily to temperature. The two vents on the front, uh, they go down and come in. The air comes in the bottom. And this one vent on top here just comes right out there. So you just open and close these ones on the sides and it controls the temperature just beautifully. We want to make sure to season the deflector plate too. So let's drop that down in here and get this thing up in temperature and look at rolling here. On. Um, it's cooking at 350 seasoning. Perfect. Yeah, it looks awesome. I know it's I, cool. Absolutely amazing. It really burns nice. I mean, it, it came to temperature yeah. really quickly. I'm really, I'm, I'm, really I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I got to tell you, it's so easy to use and and it looks sexy. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> yeah, I like when uh, my girlfriend looked at it, she goes, "Wow, <laughs> you know, wow, that was it. that's what we want." Yeah. So so how long do we have to season? Well, so uh, what? So what Matt at Cotton Gin says is that we should let this burn like this for like. 350, 400 degrees okay. for like three to four hours. Well, it's you, holding the temperature super steady. I'm, I'm amazed. So yeah. once it start, what we did is we opened these baffles up all the way. And once it started coming to temperature, we just shut them down to about halfway. And it has just been holding steady here. Yeah. Right? I mean, well, we've been at it for a while. So. Yeah. yeah. So, Incredible. Um, and what this is doing now is after spraying the inside like that, that all that seasoning is now yeah. setting on the inside of the smoker. So it's going to prevent um, any kind of problems from happening. It's going to prevent corrosion. It's yeah. going to keep it cleaner forever, forever. Okay. So. Well, I can't wait to cook in it. So what do you say, like in about four hours? What'd you bring for us? Well, I brought three giant tomahawk steaks. Let's hang them in there and we're going to cook them and we're going to make ourselves a really nice meal. You're speaking my language, man. <laughs> All right, guys. But I think this wraps up to this week's video and we'll leave the tomahawks for next week. I hope you guys check us out next week and I hope to see you again. Bye. You can check these out for yourself at CottonGinSmokers.com. Hey, don't forget, subscribe, like the video, and leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. Tell us what else you want to see us do.